Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ridgie here, back on my happy little Ridgie's world underneath the bridge I made at the end of last episode. And I have to say, this place is looking pretty great. I'm, I'm liking how this looks here, and we're going to have to add some buildings in on the side. This right there, that definitely needs to be fixed, but I'm liking what I've got so far and how substantial it feels so far. It really feels lived in and uh, just sort of worn down in a good way. So that is very, very good. I'm off to a good start there, and hopefully we should be able to get that maze that we haven't really even started yet done by Halloween. And if we can do that, that will be completely awesome. And I think if we don't start that in this episode, we're going to have to start that in the next. But the first thing I want to do in this episode, and I must warn you, before we get started, I don't have all that much time. I'm recording this sort of late, unfortunately, but we're going to make the best of it, and I think I can still get a pretty fun, pretty awesome episode out for all of you guys on the interwebs. And if you haven't guessed it already, that thing we have to work on before we work on our building up there is this slime farm. I really need to push, I really need to get this finished, and it shouldn't be that difficult. It might be a little annoying, a little grindy, but nothing we can't get done. Basically, we have to go out four, I believe, in each direction like this, and then take all of this out and dig this all the way down to our final level. And at our final level, we'll make some water stream filtering systems. But for now, I am going to maybe grab a few torches so I can see what I'm doing, put some music on, put some music on for you guys, and maybe film this in a time lapse. But as of right now, we're going to get our building hats on, and we're going to take out all of these blocks. And after so, so long 
This entire massive slime farm is finally just about complete. We'll add the auto killer in in this episode. Of course, I'll do it in just a second. Right after I demonstrate how this thing works. So you see these slimes appearing down here. What's basically happening is they spawn up there and slimes never actually stand still. They're always moving in a certain direction. It's randomly picked when they spawn, but eventually they're going to cross this whole area, hop off of these little cliffs right here, and fall all the way down into this collection trough. Now, once we get everything automated, I'll have some water here. Everybody in this trough will be all sorted out. And then they're going to go through a crusher that will burn them down to the littlest size and then kill them. But just so you can see, this is working very well. I'm going to run away a little bit. This is actually so high up that we're already spawning a few slimes in. But if I go way, way out here you'll get to see this thing hopefully working as well as it's intended to. And once we have this farm, we're going to keep it on the whole time, so it's slowly but surely generating tons and tons of slime for us. Hopefully that's enough to get some people spawning in in here. Let's jump down this way, and we have some on these platforms. We have some above, and as you can see, those guys right here, they're just going to keep hopping until they fall all the way down. And that's not too bad. We have two big slimes. We have some smaller slimes in the back from that. And I'm willing to bet there are a few still waiting to fall down that are just sort of hanging around up there. But from that, we've already gotten... Oh, I already had those before, but that's a stack of slime. We have a few stacks of slime from before. And, you know, this little farm here took forever to build. This is a pretty darn big area to mine out. But in the end, I am really, really proud of this thing. So to finish it up, I'm going to go over here, grab a whole bunch of water buckets, as many as I can carry. It doesn't really matter because I can make an infinite water source over there. And from there, the only other ingredient we need is stone, which we have plenty of on this side. But what we're going to do is make tons of stone pressure plates and grab tons of water buckets. And basically, we're just going to have a row of water buckets right here going out like this. Let me fill this in really quick. And then I'll explain what the rest we're going to do is. So we have this right here. You know, this is a little weird because it's on a corner, but the idea is we close all of that off with pressure plates. We do the same on this side, and then over here we have another row of water. I might need to replan this just a little bit. It's not working out perfectly, but I think this should be good. Just throw water down there. And everything works out. So let's copy this on the other side and finish everything up with one more row of buckets right here. You know what? I'm going to take that block out so everything filters. And now, whenever we activate this or whenever slime spawn, every single one of them, well, at least once we remove this chest, will be filtered to this area right here. And ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that is is it. We've created this little grinder right here. I'm pretty confident it works, but I'm not entirely sure, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But what's going on right here is we have magma blocks. You're going to take damage whenever you stand on them. I have fire resistance, so I don't. And then all of the drops are either going to get collected here or right there and filter into this tiny little chest in the back. I think I heard a slime, guys. And if I was lucky enough to, then we can test this thing out and make sure it works completely operationally. Anybody? Anybody want to test it out? It's a great opportunity. First slime to get fried. You know, let's throw all of this stuff in here while we're waiting. And man, we've got we've got quite a lot of stuff we've collected over the course of this build. And this is only the start. We're going to get that every hour, maybe, 
in our world. That's where the slime was. And that's going to add up. And we're going to be able to use slime for anything. We can make a giant bounce house castle if we want. But with that said, I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode fairly soon. Mostly because, like I said before, I am on a little bit of a short notice. But I do want to make sure everything is running perfectly before I go. Now these slimes right here, they're going in my direction because they're obviously targeting me. Uh, when I'm not here, obviously, this simply won't happen. Let's jump up on this platform right here. And there we go, these slimes. Look at that, that slime right there just died. Let's get some more. Get this guy on here. You're not taking damage. Why aren't you taking damage? Oh, there, there you go. That, that was some... Oh, I think that was just from thorns. Okay, I have an idea as to why this isn't working. Those slimes probably aren't even fitting back there. So what I'm gonna do, because this water is filtering all of the items back into these hoppers anyway, I am just going to make some magma block lines all the way out here because we actually don't need any of those hoppers. We just need that filtering area right there. I didn't even notice that. I, I made redundancies in my own design. Yeah, yeah, let's reclaim all of these hoppers back here because there's no way that they're actually going to be used. Let's swim up before we drown. Plug everything back right here. Oh, that might be a problem. You see that every once in a while, uh, the magma blocks sort of burn and they take out the water above them. But I think it's okay. We just don't have them over any source blocks. Oh. That is not okay. Is that gonna stay like that? Alright, we'll we'll look. We'll make sure nothing wrong goes nothing yep, no, we'll make sure nothing wrong goes, kids. And we'll hope. Eat our food right here, right now. I am going to be so unbelievably happy if this thing just works. Damage. Damage. Okay, it's it's working a little. He's taking a little damage here. It seems like he's only taking damage when something uh, smokes out. Which is just just a little bit weird. But he's he's definitely taking that damage. He's definitely getting everything tuned down. Come on, Mr. Slime. And now that they're littler, they should start taking damage really, really, really fast. Break into little guys who take damage even faster. And... Everybody's filtered. And all of those drops have been collected. I'm gonna take out this right here so everything can filter in correctly. And let's see what we have. Just... From that, we almost have a row of slime blocks. So you know what? One more thing. One more thing before we go. I'm gonna AFK somewhere fairly safe and fairly near to here for... Let's say... 30 minutes. I'll check what's in there. And then I'll get back to you. And that is not too bad. I've been away 20 or 30 minutes. We're almost full on the first row. I hear another slime bouncing in toward us. Ooh, two more slimes. And unfortunately, guys, we are going to have to end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did like this video, then please make sure to hit that like button. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's watch these slimes burn to death really quick. And make sure all of their drops filter correctly into this little box right here. Now this farm isn't particularly fast, but the advantage of it is that whenever we're in within 250 blocks of it, 
it will always be generating slime for us. And slowly, this will build up until we just have a ton of this stuff. As you can see, we already have this. Eventually, we're going to need a few more chests. And I think eventually, eventually, I'll hook it up to that bulk storage system way down over there. But I am going to leave that for another episode. Let's throw a diamond to notch for good luck in the future. And as always, until the next time, guys, this has been Richie, and I'm out. I'll see ya.